here you was uh, you see a, a, a question asking you to balance the redox reaction it is a little bit different from the previous one because you don't you have more elements in the reaction and the one that you have more is oxygen and a hydrogen okay so uh, let me go ahead to assign oxidation number first since we have to do that for every single reaction so minus two for oxygen plus one for hydrogen and uh, in this case in this case plus five for nitrogen iron will be plus two here plus three minus two plus four okay so if we look at the the um, change of oxidation number hydrogen we see it on the left but we don't see it on the right uh, we will address that issue in a little bit but let's just assume that we don't see any change here nitrogen going from positive 5 to positive 4 it is going down so it is reduction okay so let me just write the compound here and then um, and we will balance it later on oxygen minus 2 minus 2 there's no change iron going from plus 2 to plus 3 so it's going up it is oxidation so let me write it here okay so everyone should understand why we're running these two equations these are the uh, the half reactions okay now for oxidation is very simple we only have one element it's just iron and uh, it is already balanced for the quantity of the element but it's not but not the charge on the left we have two plus on the right we have three plus so to make them equal to each other I'm going to add one electron on the right because this is the only way we can match the charge on each on both sides okay we only we can only add electrons which means we can only bring the charge down okay so going from three plus to two plus overall okay so this is our half reaction for oxidation and then we look at the reduction so things become a little bit interesting because here we see a hydrogen on the left we don't see on the right and if you are careful enough we see three oxygen on the left and two oxygen on the right so how do we deal with that so we are going to draw a little diagram to uh, to give you a better understanding what we need to do so what we need to understand is this is a reaction happening in an acidic solution so I'm going to draw a you can call it a beaker and since the reaction is happening in an aqueous solution and uh, since I did not write the state here let me just tell you that I, we, this reaction is happening when all the compounds here is in aqueous solution okay and uh, if you understand if you still remember what aqueous means is that these compounds are all dissolved in water okay let me shift a little bit to the right they're all dissolved in water okay so we have water oops we have water and it is acidic so if you still remember hopefully what makes an acidic solution it is the proton H plus hydrogen ion that makes a solution acidic and when we do the balancing equation we are going to use what we have in the system or in the or in the environment to balance the equation so let's look back to the equation so we have hydrogen oxygen to balance and then you ask okay which one do we balance first hydrogen or oxygen well think about this we only have hydrogen ion and water H2O to balance 
and since we can only use water to balance oxygen we are going to balance, we are going to balance oxygen first because whenever we use a water it changes the number of hydrogen and that we will have to we count the number of hydrogen we do not waste effort we want to be lazy so we are going to balance oxygen first so here we have three oxygen on the left we only have two so we are going to add one water molecule H2O okay and then we count the number of hydrogen H1 hydrogen on the left two hydrogen on the right so we are going to add one hydrogen ion okay remember that we are using water and hydrogen ion because they exist in the solution we cannot use something that from nowhere after we after we balance every every single element we are going to balance charge on the right the overall charge is zero on the left it is plus so we are going to add one electrons on the left so that the overall charge on the reactant side will be zero so after we have these two half reactions I'm going to draw a line here and we add them together can we add them together right now yes since we have one electrons on the right one electrons on the left so we can simply add these two together and these two electrons are going to be eliminated so we just add these two together Fe2 plus plus H plus plus HNO3 Fe3 plus plus NO2 plus H oops let me uh, zoom out H2O okay so this would be your balanced redox reaction now how can you make sure that you got it okay let me teach you want to make sure first let's count the charge okay two plus here's a plus so the total will be three plus on the right it is three plus so you got the charge and then you can count the element fe we have one on the right we have one is good hydrogen we have one and two and we got two on the right so that's good too nitrogen we have one here one here it is good oxygen we have three and we have one two three okay so we have a balanced redox reaction because everything is balanced Okay, so this is how to do it.